which you guys could ever take a look at possibly the perfect alternative for Windows 10 users. It's called Anduin OS. Anduin OS is a custom Ubuntu based Linux distribution that aims to facilitate developers that are transitioning from Windows to Linux by mainstreaming familiar operations and habits and workflows. So Anduin is definitely trying to do that. They also go through a bunch of other information here. Why choose Anduin? Well, it's ready to use. It's friendly interface. It also has root and privacy. So privacy is no longer optional. It's essential. And that's why Anduin OS has been designed to gather nothing from you and it won't track you. It's also open source and it's containerized. So the graphic applications are installed via the flat pack and keep themselves separate from the base system. They also claim it's an ecological perfection. Now you can choose what Andrin uh, operating system version you want to use. So there's a couple of versions here. There's the LTS version and the standard version. I'll go ahead and install the LTS version. So this includes support till April 2029. It also has GNOME 46, Ubuntu 24.4 packages, Linux kernel 6.11, Released on the 6th of the 1st, 2025, the latest version is 1.1.4 uh, and it's recommended for most users. So download the version you want. There's plenty of different versions here. My only gripe was it took quite a while to download. The ISO Direct, it took quite a while, over an hour, and you might want to choose to use the torrented version. So let's take a look at the actual operating system itself now it's installed. So you can see we've got rounded corners, a nice uh, dark thing going on here. Of course, this all can be changed. And you can see we've got a nice GUI interface to navigate as well. So it should be quite easy for Windows 10 users to transition over to this version of uh, Linux. So again, we've also got multitasking here. You can play around with all of these settings. You can mess around with the appearance as well. So you've got all your options that you would normally have with an operating system default mode and also dark mode and you can add in your own pictures for backgrounds if you want to there's plenty of options available here so ubuntu desktop as you can see i've got this all left as default there's a couple of areas right here for your apps and you can see the apps are all installed here there's an app store as well you will have to download and install that on the system and again there's also uh, the search feature right here and you can toggle some of this stuff on like weather and things like that to try and make it look like say Windows 11 or Windows 10 they're trying to give it that feel so you don't feel left out when you've transitioned over you can see you've got a little widget here which you can customize to your location and this will give you a weather on the bottom left hand corner is your icons your files right here so these will be where all your files will be stored and you can see we've got recent and you've also got uh, starred, also home, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, and trash right there. And we also have our console right here. And again, you can make these windows bigger if you want to. I'm just flying through here, just showing you. I do like the overall look and feel of this operating system. Here is your home section right here. And this will just take you straight back to this area right here. So overall, a really nice looking uh, operating system down the bottom right hand corner you've got your access to your calendar and your notifications right here you can toggle on do not disturb as well this is completely open source there's no real telemetry or any sort of data harvesting collection on this particular uh, distro so if you wanted to download and use this and have a bit more privacy then something like this might be ideal so again if you want to download and install other applications and things like that you can do you can just uh, browse and explore all of the options available there's tons of them here and again it's not the same as windows we already know that it's a linux operating system i'm on a virtual machine here so it's taking a bit of time to load in otherwise this will be really snappy now for people that are using windows 10 and they have an old computer and it's not compatible with windows 11 you're not going to have many options available to you like I've covered in previous videos, you can either extend the support by paying $30 for updates, or you can start to transition over to another operating system like, say, Linux. Now, you can choose many different flavors. There's quite a few different distros to choose, and you can choose which one suits your needs. 
Zorin OS is a really good option for a lot of people. Linux Mint is another good option. Uh, this looks pretty nice too. And again, it's all going to come down to personal preference. You can install these on a virtual machine and get used to them and see how they are and see whether it's something that you like. And if it is, then you can go ahead and install it onto your main system. You can see we've got all of our processes, our resources right here, a really nice looking uh, panel right here for this. And also you've got your file system for your operating system. You can see it's on a virtual uh, machine here. So it's very Windows-like, but it is actually Linux. So who is it going to be for, really? Well, if you're one of these people that just watch YouTube, do some emails, and maybe surf the web, and do some basic tasks, then Linux is going to be ideal for you. It's just the fact that a lot of people are going to have to get used to a completely different operating system. So you can see we do have the weather here as well. So it's got quite a few nice, useful little gadgets that is very Windows-like. But again, this is a Linux distribution based off of Ubuntu. So would I recommend Linux to a lot of Windows users? And the short answer to that is yes, I would. Regardless of some of the user base, which is pretty toxic in the comments section of most Windows YouTube channels, they just become too aggressive and it's not a good look for Linux itself. What I would say is if you have got a computer and you don't have the money to buy a new computer because that's what Microsoft want you to do, then you're not going to have many options. You've got, uh, you know, Chrome OS Flex and you've got a bunch of other ones like Fide OS if you want to go down the android -y sort of looking route. And then you've got your Linux distros. You can choose a bunch of different ones here. You're just going to have to get used to some of the software. It's not going to be quite the same as Windows. There's quite a few different alternatives that you might have to use, and some of them are pretty familiar, like Audacity. That does work on Linux and also on Windows as well. So write your software down that you like to use and then see whether it's compatible on Linux. If it's not, you're going to have to find an alternative software that does work on Linux to carry on using it. Now, there's also a website that's been put up called End of 10, and you can see here, support for Windows 10 ends on October 14th, 2025. Microsoft wants you to buy a new computer. But what if you could make your current one fast and secure again? And it's talking about Linux, of course. So if you've bought a computer after 2010, there's most likely no reason uh, to throw it out. By just installing and updating to Linux operating system, you can keep using that computer for years to come. This is what the site is telling you. They're trying to get you to transition over to Linux. So installing an operating system is quite simple. I've shown you how to do that before, but they've even gone down this route of showing you how to install Linux onto the system and how you can get support. And they've even got support contacts right here on this website. So I think this is a really good idea for a lot of people that just don't know what to do or where to turn. And there's also a little page showing you how to do it yourself install guide and how to back up your data and how to install Linux onto that old computer and get yourself up and running. There's been a lot of people that have actually made this transition over from Windows to Linux because they want to keep that old computer and they don't want to replace it. And if that's what you want to do, then this is something that might be interesting to you. I'll leave all the links and information in the video description for you so you can read this at your own leisure. So don't feel pressured to go out and buy a brand new computer and get yourself into massive debt by buying a really high-end PC. If you do want to continue to use your old PC and it does everything you want it to do, then it will probably continue to do so with a Linux operating system on there. So have a good look around. If you need any information or any help, you can always join our Discord server and ask questions over there. It's free to join, whether you're a Linux user, whether you're a Mac user or Windows. I really don't care what operating system you use. The only thing I asked is be polite and courteous and be respectful and don't be toxic. Otherwise, you're just going to be booted out. They've even given you five reasons why you should transition over to Linux. Again, no ads, no spyware. Uh, also, it's way cheaper to just install that onto your old computer rather than replacing your old computer. And there's a bunch of other stuff on there about good for the planet and all this sort of stuff. 
Take from that what you will. You can uh, digest some of this stuff and read it at your own leisure. I'm not going to go through all of it. But if you are in this situation where you haven't got the money to buy a new computer, then maybe using something like this might be something that will interest you. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall see you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. The link's in the video description. Bye for now.